Hello, I'm Karen Larson with the latest headlines from Two Works for You. President Trump is expected to pardon 100 people and a familiar face is hoping to be one of them. New evidence on Joe Exotic has been sent to the outgoing Trump administration for their consideration. The Tiger King is currently serving 22 years in prison after being convicted of hiring a hitman to kill his rival, Carol Baskin. Now, former Indiana Zoo owner Tim Stark says he recorded phone conversations that he believes call into question the testimony of some witnesses. Joe Exotic's appeals team says the new evidence is explosive. I would have loved this information to have been out two years ago before his trial, so he never would have been convicted overall. But since that isn't what happened, you know, it's better late than never. Attorneys will also use the recordings for an appeal Wednesday. Meanwhile, a federal court judge is ordering Jeffrey and Lauren Lowe to immediately surrender all big cat cubs to the federal government. The Lowe's now own Greater Winniewood Exotic Animal Park LLC and Tiger King LLC. The court also ordered them to hand over records showing all animals acquired and disposed of since last June. The court found the Lowe's failed to provide safe conditions, timely veterinary care and proper nutrition for several animals. The Oklahoma State Department of Health does not anticipate a problem with people getting their second dose of the COVID-19 vaccine, despite learning there is no federal stockpile headed our way. OSDH Deputy Health Commissioner Keith Reed answering questions virtually to update Oklahomans on the rollout. Reed says while some may have to be flexible on when they're able to make an appointment for that second shot, any delay may be due to logistics and not necessarily because of a shortage. Turning to our 10 day forecast, you can see temperatures are going to be holding in the low 50s up to 60 on Thursday. Chance of rain on Friday and again on Sunday, even a chance of our first round of thunderstorms on Monday. That's the latest from Two Works for You. Be sure to check our website, app and social media for updates.